we are continuing with principles of prototyping we gave you some exhibits back to the principles now number four prototype may expedite other development steps you know expedite speed up other development steps this happens in mold design as illustrated in exhibit 11 on the next page a physical model of a geometrically complex part allows the mold designer to more quickly visualize and design the mold tooling right I mean long time ago when simulation was not there everything was done on a sketch pads and then on the drawing board so on the drawing board it was difficult to completely visualize what you have when 3d solid modeling packages AutoCAD 3d SolidWorks has started then visualization became better because now you could see the product in 3d when simulation started that you can actually move around the parts and assemble them and see visually what is happening when they move then you could still more visualize it but if you can physically do that not on computers physically that you actually make it now you know every detail that is physically available then things are better than before right and this can speed up the design process and finding of problem areas and so on principle 5 prototype may restructure task dependencies task dependencies let's see the top part of exhibit 12 on the next page illustrates tasks that are done sequentially right one after the other such tasks can be finished concurrently by building a prototype you see sequentially finish one then do the other concurrently means doing in parallel doing in parallel so you see if the tasks are sequential finish take one full day finish this then start the other take two days finish that then start the other but if they are parallel then from day one you can start the other so the task interdependencies can be changed by prototyping for example for a software test rather than waiting for the production version of the printed circuit board to use in the test the team may rapidly fabricate a prototype for example a hand built board for testing while the production of the printed circuit board is actually going on right so this is just an example so these are the two exhibits that we mentioned on the previous page previous slide exhibit 11 role of prototyping prototype in expediting speeding up another step taking time to build a prototype enables rapid completion <clears throat> of a subsequent step so conventional part design mold design mold fabrication with prototyping part design prototype mold design mold fabrication see the comparison even with the additional time and cost and so on for the prototype from start to finish the whole process is shorter than the previous one so this is a remarkable thing sometimes that normally you would think that you see prototyping is done so that we can find out what problems and so on will be there but this will be added time and cost but here the total time until mold fabrication is reduced by 10 20 whatever 30 percent if we include prototyping and creating a better mold design exhibit 12 use of a prototype to remove a task from the critical path conventional system design printed circuit board PC board fabrication software test system assembly and test with prototyping system design to PC board fabrication to system assembly and test but prototyping prototype circuit board software test and then going there so what have you done right to remove a task from the critical path right that you were going sequentially like this you were going sequentially like this but you can do this and then go there directly right without the PC board fabrication do you understand without the PC board fabrication because 
you come here you do the prototype circuit board you do the software test here not on the actual one and then you directly go to system test and assembly so these are the different advantages and so on and what are the principles and how to select what we should do and so on of course as we keep on telling you that anything that you do for the first time you are talking of prototyping as a technical topic maybe for the first time in your life though you know this word so this is learning stage one if you are part of an actual company which is actually doing this then very soon during your training period a little after that you will understand much more about prototyping and how to decide which type of prototypes to go for and how do they help and so on right so here we are just giving you an overall idea of the full course of product design but when you actually apply it to the real world thing of course you do it to your course project here then if you are good you will apply all these principles while doing your final year project so you will even before graduation you will get actual practice of doing the product design course but really you will do in any company and so on if you are part of design and manufacturing team technologies prototyping technologies many production technologies are used to create prototypes two important technologies have been used for the past 20 years earlier things were done a lot with hand and in carpentry shop using wood so forth but these two are latest technologies 3d cad modeling and analysis and free form fabrication right these two are major parts of prototyping so let us see 3d cad modeling and analysis virtual prototyping right virtual prototyping as as is the name you know cad means computer aided design so 3d cad modeling and doing analysis on that not just the modeling analysis using finite elements or any other so this is virtual prototyping 3d cad models enable analyses such as fit and assembly manufacturability form and shape style some kinematics so these type of things you can actually check and test actually check and test in the 3d modeling and analysis for example in the development of boeing 777 and 787 these are latest models of boeing the teams were able to avoid building full scale wooden prototype planes full scale wooden prototype planes which had historically been used to detect geometric interferences among structural elements and components of various systems such as hydraulic lines and so on so earlier say 50 years ago once they had done all the other design and so on then they would make a full scale model of wood of the whole boeing so that they can find assembly interferences and problems and so on but if they can do a high scale cad modeling and analysis cad modeling and analysis so this they have now stopped doing this is huge right building a full scale wooden prototype of a plane would be giant in terms of time place you will have to use the full hanger of the plane and so on and if you can avoid doing it by cad modeling and analysis then this is big right so using a 3d cad model of an entire product is known as a digital mock up a digital prototype or a virtual prototype so this is big now that simulation packages cad packages have become so big and so strong then you can do a full prototype on cad right it is not physical but you can detect lots and lots of problems right here so this is a digital mock up or a digital prototype or a virtual prototype continuing with 3d cad modeling and analysis 3d cad models also enable finite element analysis for stresses for thermal stresses and so on exhibit 13 will be shown for stresses in the pack bot fea finite element analysis of a structural integrity right is the structure strong enough in the extreme force cases was done 
to understand impact stresses at various drop and crash angles. Virtual crash testing for automobiles. Virtual crash. You see, if you actually build an automobile, then you run it into a wall and actually crash it to see the crash worthiness. But you can do virtual crash testing. So these two are major things that CAD models can do. And we will see this in the exhibit later on. The other type, free form fabrication. We said that two huge technologies have been used in the last 15, 20 years. One was 3D CAD analysis, the other free form fabrication. This is an additive process. You know, additive manufacturing, right? Uh, or at least you have heard of it. Build parts in layers based on the CAD models. Layers. I don't know if you know plywood, your tables many times in your houses and so on are made of plywood, right? So the table is say one inch thick, but they take a ply, a layer, say only two millimeters thick. And then on top, another two millimeter, on top, another two millimeter, and they are all glued and joined together. So you see a one inch thick, but it has lots of layers inside. Right? So, it, so plywood is an example of what we are talking here. Build parts in layers based on the CAD model. SLA, stereolithography apparatus. Packbot prototype was made of components fabricating SLA technology. Then SLS is another one. Selective laser sintering. 3D printing is another one. And LOM, laminated object manufacturing, is another one. So these are all free form fabrication. They use not your true material, not your true material, right? Some polymer, some other plastic, and so on. And all of these SLA, SLS, 3D printing, LOM, these are different, very modern manufacturing technologies by which you can very quickly make the prototype based on the CAD drawing. And then you can see whether it was a prototype just to show you the function or just to show you the shape or just to show you that parts assembled or not. That is later on. There are other prototyping methods than freeform CNC machining, rubber molding and urethane casting. Then the materials could be wood, foam, plastics, etc. And model making requires a special skills right so free form as we just said and 3d cad analysis these are two very latest ones uh, in the university uh, in the mechanical department and so on we have 3d printing facility and in some course uh, you may be exposed to it or in some final year projects you may be exposed to it uh, and uh, there is a cnc lab uh, where uh, some of the future CNC machining as we are mentioning here can be done and so on. But right, that is later on in your courses. You can be exposed to some of them. And then there are some elective courses on finite element modeling and so on. So some of these techniques are available in the department uh, in various later courses and so on. But right now, you know that these are the technologies that can be used to produce prototypes. Now, the next topic of planning for prototypes. Planning. The Packbot wheel prototype and impact test, Exhibit 6, was used to illustrate the model, the method, right? And uh, a template for recording the information generated from the method the four major steps listed below is given in exhibit 14. So we will show this exhibit, right? We will show this exhibit and we will continue talking to you about planning, right? Now planning, what are the steps for prototype planning from actual examples as we say that we will take all examples from the packbot. So we will continue to do that.